Graham, a, a quite incredible game of football there. First, first of all, congratulations on a magnificent victory. What, how, did, what, how did you see it from your perspective? Um, I didn't enjoy it, I have to say. Um, we, we endured a lot of pressure. We were very passive at times. We were really slack with the ball. We didn't move the ball or deal with the ball well enough. Um, but we stood up to a good team, putting lots of balls in our box and, and playing some good stuff. And we managed to come away with a win. I, I thought that the only two real good passages of play that we had in the first half, we scored from. We didn't actually start the first half um, and managed. the players managed to find a way to come in ahead of the game. So. I guess by that stage you were already pre-planned what you were going to say to the players at half-time. Did the goals, I guess, it must have changed it completely for you? It changed it considerably because um, Danny Wilson actually came in, um, not ranting and raving, but firmly said that we're lucky because we haven't started yet. And I would agree with that. I didn't think we started in the first half. Uh, I didn't think we moved the ball well enough. Obviously, Kenny going off disrupted us slightly, but we were far too reactive to what Hibs were doing. We didn't actually um, manage to impose a style upon the game. Um, and as I said, I, th I thought that all over the pitch, we were a little bit loose. But you have to come to places like this, you have to endure pressure. Um, sometimes you have to ride your luck. Uh, and we walk away with, with three fortuitous points, I would say. We did speak about character uh, after the, the Aberdeen game and how the boys stood up to it. It was certainly in their, they're in spades again tonight, which must be very pleasing for you. It is pleasing for me because, as I said, they played well, but we, we stood up and, and actually won challenges, won headers. Um, and managed to find a way without without being great, without being flashy, without actually passing the ball properly at all, which is really irritating me. But when 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 you give the ball away as often as we did, you have to endure pressure, you have to stand up to pressure, and the players managed to do that. So those couple of results and, and the manner of them, the manner of the, of the stuff that we stood up to, hopefully can build a little bit of confidence in the players, and the players can actually believe in their ability a little bit, because I didn't think we did that well enough tonight either. So perhaps part of you at the back of your mind thinks obviously didn't play well against Ross County and Saturday didn't play so well tonight you're still winning these games what might be possible if you do play well the players know what's possible because you did it against Aberdeen twice they know our standards they know what everyone would do um, but having that free flowing sexy football if you like allied to a resilient core with a bit of steel within you um, can take us a long way and, and you, it's nice to have the both of them I'd like to have both of them in, in any game but if we can only have one we had the resilience today, so that's that, that's what we'll take it, and we'll pat the players on the back and say, well done for that part of it. We need to do this bit better. We need to do that bit better. But more importantly, we need to recover these players because we've got a quick turnaround, and there are some battered bodies in there, so, and we need to make sure we take care of them really well before the game on Saturday. And just to finish, give me a word for the, the supporters. The noise that they made tonight was, was incredible. It, it was immense, and they, they were challenged in the first half because, as I said, we didn't start. We didn't give them a great deal to cheer about, and then with one bit of play, we score a goal. And then our second bit of good play, we score another goal, which shows the players, actually, when we do pass the ball properly, we can actually open teams up. And we have a threat. We have threats on the pitch. Um, but we have to get them involved as well. We have to give them something to cheer up because they turn out again in their thousands. The support's amazing for us, and we need to do more for them, I think.